the management of the patients with uh, diffuse uh, large basal lymphoma older than uh, 65 years is uh, a relative challenge for uh, oncologists and hematologists. The geriatric assessment could be useful in order to stratify patients and to decide which approach we have to use in order to avoid an over-treatment for some patients and then more toxicity and an under-treatment and then a failure of the efficacy of the treatment for the other one. The elderly project, the study we conducted within the Italian Lymphoma Foundation, is a prospective multicenter study aimed to validate the use of simplified geriatric assessment in these patients and to have the opportunity to integrate clinical futures, clinical prognostic factors and the geriatric assessment. And for the first time, we was able to stratify patients into three groups where the prognosis was significantly different according to the stratification of the simplified geriatric assessment. Fit patients with a very good prognosis, intermediate with unfit patients, a very bad prognosis in frail patients. But because we stratified the patients because of age, in terms that the definition of patients older than eight years was that they was not fit for definition, we, we saw of a more accurate analysis that sometimes patients with unfit or frail patients do not have any comorbidity or any dependence in geriatric assessment. Therefore, we reassessed the role of age in, uh, within uh, the, the simplified comprehensive assessment and we divided the patients into three different groups. The first one was the group one that was composed by all fit patients and unfit younger than 80 years. The second one was the unfit older than 80 and the frail younger than 80. And the third group was the patients frail older than 80 years. The survival was significantly different and in a multivariate analysis, three factors were identified as the most important influence of the survival. The simplified geriatric assessment, the hemoglobin level, and the high PI score. So we create a different score, a new score, the elderly prognostic index, that clearly identify three different groups of patients. The low-risk patients, where the score was 0-1, the intermediate group where the score was from 2 to 4 and the uh, high risk group where the score was 5 to 7 and uh, clearly the survival was a complete difference. In other words, this score can allow us to design a new study in the clinical practice in order to have the opportunity to better stratify the patients that then be, we have to be enrolled in the, in the clinical trials and in, the, in other words, we have a more comfortable approach to these patients.